Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old. Um, I'm going to do some... Um, see who's coming in for all the elements and uh, what they want you to know. And then we'll do some oracle cards. So we're on earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Who's coming in for the earth signs? What do they want them to know? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hope everyone's having a good day. So we have someone could be dealing with a Scorpio. You have the Death card, King of Swords in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So something changed. Something ended, maybe. Um, something that was probably really scattered and it caused some depression and disappointment. Um, and there's a lot of frustrations that surround this situation. Um, I see that it's more about um, someone who doesn't really want to fight for something anymore because they're maybe this other person isn't really trying to put any time in this even though they don't want to be left out in the cold this will be moving forward because you have the chariot card at the bottom of the deck um, we'll just um, who's coming in for the signs of Taurus Virgo Capricorn what do they want them to know All right, Taurus, you have the King of Wands in reverse. Virgo, you have the World card. Capricorn, you have the Four of Swords. The bottom of the deck is the Hierophant in reverse. The Fortune in reverse. Ace of Wands. And I see you have the Queen of Swords, Two of Cups in reverse, and the Sun card, and the Strength card. So. There might have been some things that were said, okay, probably, maybe not the greatest, but it's still like maybe something was said or whatever the case may be. There might have been a separation or a breakup, but there will be happiness and the strength card is here as well. So I think it's going to be a good ending for everybody when it comes to this situation. Um, the King of Wands in reverse is someone who doesn't know what they wanted. So maybe the person that you is coming in for you, Taurus, is someone that didn't know what they wanted in the past. It could be a fire sign. could be somebody that maybe you guys didn't have a relationship and it didn't really move forward, but they do want a new start with you because you have the Ace of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands in reverse for Taurus. Because the King of Wands upright is someone who knows what they want and they go get it and they're really passionate in reverse. They don't know what they want and they're kind of all over the place. And that might have been why things, that's maybe that's why there wasn't a stable relationship offered and things didn't move forward, but maybe it'll move forward now because there's going to be a new start here. Nine of Swords in reverse, so maybe you're resting, trying to recover from some old shit. Uh, Six of Pentacles in reverse, it was really one-sided in the past. But there's going to be victory in this, Taurus, so I think that's the main thing to remember. And I'm not really sure because I see all signs here, but you're going to know what that situation is for you. So, Virgo, you have the world card, and the world card talks about completing a life, uh, a complete, completing a life um, lesson. So, that's what you are doing, or this is what this other person is doing. So maybe they were in the middle of something in their life when you guys um, parted ways or whatever the case may be. That's why things didn't move forward. That's why there wasn't um, something offered. But there is someone who wants to come in and offer something now. And it also could mean that this person like can see themselves with you. You know, like they want to spend their life with you, but it just didn't happen in the past. 
and there was some breaks up breakups and heartbreak um a lot of depression i think that's what they want you to know is that if if you guys did break up or there was some heartbreak they are really depressed and they are um they are feeling this loss without you they want virgo to know I think what they want you to know is that they were or they still are in a really difficult position in their life, but they are thinking about things and um, they are trying to, um, they're trying to find fulfillment and peace, um, but they are single, you know, um, I think that maybe they needed to put some time into themselves before they could come and try to offer um, something because they don't want to be left out in the cold by you. I see earth. For you but it could be just your energy something that wasn't unfair in the past something that was unfair excuse me um, there was some dishonesty and unfairness that surrounded the situation before they want them to know judgment in reverse so they made the wrong choice that's what they want you to know two of cups in reverse so someone you broke up with um, Capricorn, Four of Swords, so, feeling like retreating, or you told this person to leave you the fuck alone, trying to be, trying to rest and be in solitude, maybe that's what this person is doing, this air sign, trying to figure out the right way to come back and approach the situation because there things like you know like I said things didn't really move forward they didn't offer um something stable or if they did it just didn't work out but now they want to offer you this new start could be a fire sign but what do they want um Capricorn to know I think what they want you to know is that they are trying to tell you to be strong or maybe they are trying to figure out the correct way to come back after they had to deal with their own situations maybe there's some um immaturity and stuff in the past and they didn't really know where they wanted to go but they're going to be telling you they're going to be speaking their truth to you um but they're just they're really not happy right now and i think that's what they want you to know maybe they're just not happy without you and they're definitely thinking right now and there's going to be victory for you as well, Capricorn. Let's do some advice for our Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hope everyone's having a good day. And if you go to the Super Bowl, get a massive Bloody Mary and drink it for me. That's all I want right now. You know, the ones with like the pickle and the cheese and the beef stick and the shrimp and fucking celery and the chicken <laughs> I would so eat that right now alright some advice is that someone's trying to make a choice and I think they're really afraid that they're going to get their heart broken or maybe someone's going through a divorce or some type of loss someone's really depressed um, and they're kind of living in the past and that's probably why I think, you know, what they want you to know is that they were really immature in the past. They were, they didn't know what they wanted and now they're, they're figuring it out because they're doing, they're working on themselves. So I think that they could come in in the, in the correct way. I think they're just really scared, to be honest. Um, then you have the moon card and the ace of pentacles. So there is a new start going to be offered with that situation as well. What are some advice for our earth signs? Five of Wands. So someone might be fighting. Maybe someone wants to fight for um, a situation. So maybe if you're fighting so with someone about something that's gonna, something's about to change drastically. 
the situation where they just weren't really putting the time in, kind of only thinking about themselves where things really didn't move forward. Um, they do want this fulfillment, this family, you know, kind of like building a legacy together. Um, even though there was some depression that surrounded the situation in the past, they're trying to make a choice. They're working on themselves. Um, they're not really sure how to talk to you, I don't think, because um, they're trying to recover, or maybe they think you are, because there was some bad shit that happened, the lying, cheating, stealing, and they're not really speaking their truth right now, and they're kind of all over the place where they were. They are thinking, they're in that mode, um, but they want to return to the situation, so I think that's something you need to remember. So let's do some Oracle cards for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What are the angel, romance angel oracle cards for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? What are the romance angel oracle cards for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Oh shit. That is half the deck. Okay. Two more. That one wanted to come out. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What are the romance angel oracle cards for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Now we will get um, uh, messages from your angels. Okay. One more. Okay, Taurus, your cards are your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And your angel is mystique and it says keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Virgo, you have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And your angels are Grace and Antoinette and it says to help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. And Capricorn, you have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And your angel is Yvonne. You, can, you have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. All right, you guys have a good day.